Facebook is saying it's struggling with how to deal with fake news, and yet uh, there seems to be a possibility they can use uh, their their technology or product to censor out news that people don't want to see in China. The irony, of course, mm -hmm. is incredible, and that's of course the big question here. It's like. Obviously, they have the tools to deal with some of these issues. The question is, how do they deploy some of these technologies? Some of the issues are, are technological algorithms and things. Some of them are people-based. But more and more, I think it's more of a philosophy decision that they have to make. And what are they willing to do? What are they not willing to do, both in China and the U.S.? You have to imagine that I think that these topics are very much related. And whatever technologies they develop for one, theoretically, could be deployed in a slightly different way for the other. So how do you think the actual technical challenge here might be different? Because on the one hand, you're trying to uh, filter out inaccurate or, or misleading news that there may even be a gray area there. On the other hand, perhaps you know you could plug in some terms that the Chinese government doesn't want uh, people to see, things like human rights or well, uh, Falun Gong. But things also could pop up there that, that they don't expect, and they would need to have real-time monitoring. So well, exactly. is it really that different a challenge? I don't know that it is. And that's what I mean. One of the issues I think more philosophical is deciding in both cases, perhaps, that there is a list of approved major news vendors that they're primarily going to promote and more secondary news or whatever kind of sites they are don't get the same treatment. And I think in a strange way, you could imagine a similar kind of philosophy, a more strict version of that in China. But even in the U.S., you could say, let's stick with the primary news organizations who've proved they're willing to do factual stories for the primary news feed and maybe have a sort of a secondary news feed with alternative sources. Who knows? I mean, that may not be the most popular idea, but it may be practical. Lulu, the uh, Chinese uh, tech landscape is littered with U.S. companies that have tried and failed from Google to Twitter. LinkedIn, of course, has been somewhat successful successful with a joint venture in China, have companies actually been able to succeed in censoring information? LinkedIn is one company that Facebook can look to. This is a company that so far has managed to stay in the country operating and not getting blocked like Google and Twitter. Um, they do com combine censorship via algorithms and also human reviewers, and they censor both English and local language and Chinese. Now, Emily, you might be wondering whether censorship is enough for Facebook to get back into China. And yesterday when we spoke with our sources, the short answer was no. Um, censorship is a prerequisite. It's not a guarantee. So for uh, Google, for, for Facebook to get back into China, they will need to grapple with a series of issues as well, including the new cybersecurity laws that just passed last month. Right. Now, I was working in China in 2009 when Facebook was blocked. And at the time, I did have a number of Chinese friends who were on Facebook. But now, after seven years, other services have sprouted up. Is there really demand in China for Facebook? Facebook will be facing an uphill battle. You already have Tencent offering WeChat, which has more than 800 million monthly active users. They do provide a service that is similar to Facebook on their moments function. And also today, we have hundreds of live streaming apps. Young people in China these days are really looking for instant gratification, where they actually can uh, send out messages to their followers and get instant feedback, likes, virtual gifts. And so if Facebook were to come to to China, they will be facing company giants like Tencent and also the, mil the hundreds of other live streaming companies. It will be an uphill battle.